Uh, yes, sir, man. I'm back at you with another video with the Pull Up King. All right, today we're working on a 2003 Toyota Camry uh, 2.4 four cylinder. It is a LE sub model. And we're going to do a few repairs on it. Let me show you what we got. We got all of this here. We got our uh, front brake pads and rotors. We have out of tie rods, sway bar links, and front shocks. Shock and strut assembly. I'm going to show you what we got, why I'm replacing all of this stuff here. Shock strut. You hear a lot of uh, noise, a little uh, popping noise when you're hitting, going over bumps, uh, potholes or whatever. Sway bar link. Those are busted. Out of, out of tie rod. Busted as well. And you see these rotors here. Got a lit. Got a lot of grooves in it. Pads are extremely low. Alright. So we're going to get it and knock it out. This uh, rack need to be replaced. But we're going to do that another day. Let's get it. That's all our parts here. It's the uh, out of tie rods. Left and right. We got sway bar links. Now that's the part number for the sway bar links, both both of them. Now we have two different part numbers for the tie rods. One is 89 and one is ended in 90. Got a brand new strut assembly. Alright, and that part number. That's for the right. And I'll show you the part number for the left. Part number for the rotors. Brake pads. All right, now we're gonna work with this tie rod, get that off. We got a cotter pin, gonna get that out. Just like that. That's a 17 mil nut. Get that off. All right, now we got that loose. Hit that, turn that to the right. All right, get that off. We wanna tap this in. Pop out like that. It's got a lot of play in that. Inner tie rod need to be done, but the inner tie rods come with the rack and pinion when you replace that. So yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Alright. See that old one? So bust it up. We got a brand new one. Go ahead and install that. I'm gonna put it back in the same position. You can see where the line is. Pretty much you gotta count your threads if you uh, were to do so. I can see where it is though. So. Alright, we're back in. That boat, I don't know if I said it, that's a 19. Then this new boat, it turned into a 19. It was an 18 for taking it off. Next, we're gonna hit this brake, hit the brake caliper and the bracket, take that off, take off the rotor. And then we're gonna go to the shock and the sway bar. All right, and that's gonna be a 14 millimeter, two bolts holding it. I just took one out and swung it up. Left that in there, took it out. Swing it on now. Now we got the pads. Now we get back here. We got 17 millimeter bolts holding the bracket in. Hit this with the hammer. Yeah, 
Yeah, they was on there. Pretty tight. Seized on there. Yep. All right, next we got this brake caliper. We want to get this line, this brake line, away from the shock. Uh, I believe that's going to be a 12 mil. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this bolt and uh, get that ready to come out. All right, that's gonna be a 17 mil. Get that bolt, and instead of trying to get that now on that other end, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and knock out the take out the uh, strut. 21 mil, and we're gonna tap these bolts through. Take something and punch it all the way through. All right, got it all the way out. Next, we got to jump up up under the hood and get the three bolts that's holding it. Right here. Once these are out, it'll fall right down. Those 14 mil. All right, and now we can pull this all the way out. got that out now I'm gonna go ahead and get this boat out All right that's the other end 17 mil so I got that out Sway bar link. Go ahead and reverse order. Put the brake pads and rotors on. Let's get it. Make sure you spray these uh, rotors down with a uh, brake cleaner. Get that film off before you put these on. When I go in with this one, I like to put the top end in first. Put those bolts in there, hold it down. Ain't tight yet. Let me go ahead and add this. Put everything else back in. Always put this on the back side of your pads. New hardware. All right, push that piston back. Make room for those new pads. Lubricate your guide pins. These are your guide pins. That one there. And that one there. Guide pins. Jump on the driver side, knock that out, fly through it. I'll show you when I get done with that. That's gonna be it, man.